I just washed my hat because it smells like sweat, but I don't have to wash it right again usually because you put down fertilizer, it makes it smell like shit. But you gotta wear a hat, keep your hair out, out of the out of the shit fumes. Uh, I gotta put down fertilizer, and I don't really want to do it. I might even wear gloves. Something I forget to do. I got some gloves right here. I need a knife. I'm gonna put you right back for a second. I gotta go grab a knife. that <laughs> this hat is an old hat that um whenever covid came out people kept saying you got to have a mask you got to have a mask and i had this sitting around and i can't find it if you can find the same hat let me know i would like to buy another one it's made by this people hot what's that say hot mose hot mose okay i like this hat a lot and what it is it, they had a special pouch in the back where you can hide, hide stuff. No, it's really like a mud flap. It's got a mud flap in the back, and you're supposed to be able to put a hot pack in here, in the back, which I, I never, I never use it. But this is my hat now because I love the mud flap. But now someone says, "Where's your mask?" And they want you to wear a mask. You just go, "Oh yeah, I brought it with me." And then you do that. That's why I started wearing it. In the banks, hotel lobbies, and all of that. I wear it all the time. Just in case I need to buck up. But now it's great because it's got the mud flap. It does have a flap in the back that I like. So I put it up, put it on, and then get your hair in there. And then you pull it up over. You get it where you like it put your mud flap down in the back and that protects your neck from any UV rays and coats your hair out. It's religious garb. Okay, so this is my this is my shirt from uh, Rare Fruit Dude. The Weird Fruit Explorer, right? Weird Fruit Explorer. He's got a different name probably now. I want to see him review Crystal Pepsi. Tell him I told you. Did he review Crystal Pepsi yet? Because I'm going to buy him a vintage thing of it and have him do Crystal Pepsi. But this shirt right here is one of my favorite rare fruit shirts, and I've been wearing it for years now. Yeah, man. That was the name of the Goblin King from Labyrinth, if you don't remember that. That's a little trivia for you and y'all and yours. Woo! Now, look. This is a little knife that my friend gave me. We're gonna use it, I use it for everything but grafting or what it's probably, in. it's used for, um, it's actually beveled on one side. <laughs> okay, it's beveled on one side. You could, I've grafted with it before just for fun, but I like to use it to open bags and shit. It's a little tiny knife. It's got a, it's got a little sheath for it. I got that for free from a friend and it's nice. It's a cute little knife. The problem is I don't have a I don't have a uh, a pocket today, so we're gonna put it up there for now. I could put it in the back of that pouch. Yo, I don't know if this is gonna start a fire or not, but look what I've been doing. I got flies in my trash can. You just put the fucking bug zapper in the fucking bag. Shut it up like that. Pray it doesn't start a fire, right? Am I right or am I right? A what? Uh, I need a pair of shoes. I don't care about messing up. They're on this side. I got a knife in my hair. Don't forget. It's hot out today. Quite hot out today. 
These are a lovely pair of Asics that I used to skateboard in. These are great. Wonderful, wonderful shoes. Hot outside, yeah. Bamboo. That's some good shit for blocking out the wind. So today, I think what I might have to do is grab this um, nursery cart. I'm not gonna be using this other shitty wagon I have, but let's see what I have here. I have, this works like a wheelbarrow. Let's take a 35 gallon, I'll use a 25 instead. We're gonna take these shovels, put these aside. Could just lay them right there for now. Look at these, ooh wow. The elves came and planted these. Unfortunately, I was one of those elves and I felt the pain of it. But look at my my guards. These things work, yo. If you have chickens, yo is not a word. I'm not gonna I ain't gonna use yo, y'all. I've made a promise not to use yo anymore. I've I, I out I overdone it. Other people are saying it now, and I can't do it no more. But look at this, y'all. They really tried to pull pull back my my roots, but <laughs> not gonna happen today. This one still hasn't been staked. You know, it's not been tied off, but I gotta go get more of this nylon rope shit. Okay, now back over to what we were doing before. Let's get this cart over here. It's using it like a wheelbarrow. Is that how you spell it? B-E-R-R-A, wheelbarrow. Let's walk over here. There's a couple of them pygmy doves. It's a Florida delicacy. Now, look at this tree here. This is a little plenia garden that we put in over here. And there's your starting with the uh, um, plenia, uh, 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 help me out here. Fetrantha variety sapuca, uh, Rosa de Pescoco over there, RDP. That one's long. Long neck, pink skin, supposed to fruit real fast and nice tree. I've got some of those already flowering. And then that over there is the Sapucaya. So that's the RDP, Rosa de Pescos. Long neck, pink skin. That's Plinia Fetrantha. Plinia Fetrantha over here. And it's a Sapucaya. It's supposed to be like a seedless variant. Not seedless, but recessed seed. And look at it flower. It's flowering off a storm. I'll probably do some graphs off of this one because I just, it's, it's just, 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 just flowering. It's flowered and fruiting right away. And hopefully the fruit are any good. It's, it's tolerated a whole bunch of um, flooding and, and abuse. It's in a really wet spot where this gets like saturated all the time and it gets very hot over here. So I'm proud of this tree for what it's been able to what it's been able to do out here in terms of performance has been just remarkable, y'all. Just remarkable. Now we're going to make our way over this way and grab some of this product I like to apply to the grove. And what it's called is Hollytone. You've seen me use it before. I ought to be a, a Gerstern spokeswoman for them. But uh, for right now, I'm just a fellow advocate, user of the, of the substance. Now let's find us a um, receptacle to put this all into. This is an old 25. It had some stuff in it. Put that over there. Now, I've got it all palleted up. Let's see what's underneath this tarp. Ooh, look at all that. 
I didn't know I had peat moss in there too. Shit. I got peat moss in there. And this is the kind of stuff that I invest in. Okay. Now, if you go to Home Depot and you find this stuff, it usually has holes in it from the rats. These are 50 pounders, I believe. Yep. 50 pound bag. This is a little wet, but not real wet. I got it covered up in time. Rat rats haven't got to these bags. Okay. I think I could probably put I could probably put two 50 pounders in here so let's do that I think these cost $28 a bag excuse me uh, John if you're watching or if you see this video I just want to thank you again for bringing out this uh this wire material and I still do owe you I owe you at least a couple hundred in trade I believe buddy I, I'm really appreciate you you come out and get something out here I got all sorts of stuff you can thumb through buddy rare stuff oh buddy that stuff was excellent I used it all over here I used it as to protect my trees it's it's highly uh, usable stuff that I would have bought anyway so I want to get you traded out I still owe him I think his birthday was just around the corner. If you see him out there, wish him a happy birthday. Tell him Flying Fox said so. Okay. You know what I forgot to was a, uh, I need some kind of like a scoop to keep the shit smell off my hands. So right now we're going to find like a metal bowl of some sort or some kind of bowl where I can have an even amount in each scoop and not get feces under my fingernails this was an excellent coffee mug back when i used to keep it in the house i don't know how but all my best kitchen shit ends up outside and the chicken shits on it and i'm like fuck i guess i'll go back to goodwill and buy another i'm tempted to just bleach this thing out or whatever use it in the house again i used to love this thing it was great but we're gonna use it to scoop chicken feces today okay Okay, I got a knife in my hat, don't I? Yep, fell out. There you go. There you go. Now we're gonna strategically cut this bag so it doesn't dump everywhere while we're using it. I just need a small incision at the top right now. We'll go ahead and put our knife back in our hat. We got a flap in the back where it should go. If I can find it. Sorry, guys. Um, having just a little technical difficulty with my knife pouch. All right, we're good. Now, these are the grimmels that we just put in the ground. Let's go ahead and lighten our load here. And uh, apply some of this product over here to the grimmels. Just put it right on that drip line. Let the chicken scratch it in, maybe. I'm, I'm not using really but a scoop on a tree, maybe. I got nine of these to work on. I'll probably water this in. I don't want to go too crazy on them. But I do want to feed them and get these um, mycorrhiza that's inside of this product out there. So the fungus gets activated and starts to break shit down and just it spreads out, you know. It's going to get everywhere. It's like a fungus. And it's a, it's a good fungus. So you're putting it right on the feeder roots there. It doesn't need to be a full scoop, maybe less than a full scoop. But it's about, feels like about a pound on a tree. And, and this is, like I said, more or less a, a light feeding. I, I'm okay on the Bitcoin, but, you know, believe it or not, I did buy some Ethereum and, and Ethereum Classic just because I, I, I just, for fun, you know, $200 worth on a Robin Hood. <clears throat> I've got that right now. Ethereum Classic, two hundred dollars worth, and then some Ethereum. I just bought it on the, you know, buy the news, whatever you call it. You know what I mean? <sighs> I'm just gonna forget about it. I always buy and sell too fast. This time I'm gonna try to forget about it at least for a, for a day or two. But I always fuck myself and sell it too fast. I think you've got something there with your, your cyber coins and shit. It's really beautiful, but I don't have much interest in it.
you you could always just take a bitcoin turn it into cash put it on a paypal account and then make a purchase it's not required there are i mean bitcoins are calculated in dollars and then they transfer them over i don't take bitcoin if i was taking bitcoin i'd always be looking I'd always be looking to get out of Bitcoin immediately and put it into some other asset. I wouldn't want to be holding those Bitcoins, as it were. <clears throat> Let's go around and see what else needs it. Plenty of coin. We did plenty of coin. It was called Jabo Sticks. And it was based off of unsold, untraded new varieties. The stick was basically a tally stick and redeemable. Shit, look, they tore up the bottom of this. It was redeemable for the Scions. And it worked out for a while. They sold for a lot of money. But um, I didn't keep it up because COVID complicated everything. The shipping delays and... I just didn't keep doing it. It was fun. I didn't have to do it, but I did it for fun. No one ever really traded them like they were supposed to. They just cashed them in. It's a bit of a long explanation, but there has been a currency based on Jabba Kaba propagative material. But it wasn't a long-lived thing. And it was more of a fun project. You know, they start these coins like a meme or whatever. That's what I was just having some fun with my spare time. But I don't have time to dick around with that shit right now. I'm going to take a break from it. This tree needs it real bad. It needs a bunch of fertilizer. Watch what I do here. Right on ant hill, you fuckers. There you go, eat shit. You bastards. The ants are probably not a bad thing for the tree. Keeping it aerated. A little more chicken feces for you. Okay. We're gonna come back. We still haven't made our way into the red Jabbity Kaba Grove where I really do wanna apply the majority of this fertilizer. We're gonna grab a couple of more of these bricks over here and put them around the base of this, um, Eugenia Patanga nude makes a yellow fruit <clears throat> Chickens are tearing up the bottom scratching it. I used some of the bricks to uh, secure some of the recently planted Jabbity Cabas and have since replaced the bricks with a protective grid Okay, I'm gonna Take that and get one more brick and be done with that there's a rooster right there. He wants to go home with you. Come pick him up. Free, free rooster. He's got a cool name. I just forget what it is. You can rename him though. Who else wants a little bit of this magic in a cup? This is one here. It's a Pitanga I recently grafted. And it, the other one broke, but that one's still alive. Hey, bam! Ooh, I'm so hungry, but I can't eat any. I'm not gonna use my hands. I'm just gonna eat it like a goat. Look it. I want some of these to eat for refreshment.
the CI fruit is a good fruit. It just tastes good. I wouldn't know how to describe it other than that. It tastes pretty good. Like a patango with no resin. Go ahead and scratch that in. See there. I knew I could put it in piles because they'll scratch it in. I don't think I'll be able to get my dolly in here. It's the big problem. That's the big issue. So we're going to have to hand carry the bag over there. Take it in by hand. Let's see. It's good that I already spread some around so it's lighter now. Oh, fuck, I ripped the bag. Hat's coming off. Everything's falling the fuck apart right now. Okay. Let's walk our way over to the weakest looking part of the grove. I hit this with the scythe and to get the weeds under control. Everything looks pretty good. But I'd love to come back here and just start hitting it with some of this. Holly tone underneath. At this rate, this holly tone ain't gonna last long. I'll, I won't even probably make it quarter of a way through the grill. Let me get this bag open a little wider here. Okay. Let's see some even scoops here, Adam. Portion control. I'm that one guy at Boston Market that gives you a bunch of potatoes. And then one guy probably doesn't get as much because I don't know how to do portion controls. Some real nasty fire ants out here in this grove, I tell you. Random fruit here and there. Nothing too, not too many fruit out here right now. It's been so hot, so wet. I still need to come through and hand pull a lot of these weeds. And I've been, I probably, I did prune them. I think I went through and I did prune them for dead stuff. I did, I think I did prune them. Just gonna get some healthy inoculants out here. Some nitrogen. Oh, a snake. Snake, there is a snake in the grass, my friend. There it is going. It is over there. It is raging. It is rage against machine snake. Okay, it is gone. A snake was rage against machine snake. I want to boil it. I want to eat it and, and you know, boil it of some sort of boil it. This year I fertilize quite a bit, maybe five, six times a year, just depending on how much fertilizer, what strength it is, how fast does it release its goo. Whether or not the product is dry or it has been boiled previously, all comes into play, my friend. This is dry. It has not been boiled. I like to put fertilizer on the leaf, my friend. A tree loves fertilizer on the leaf and on the trunk. It absorbs it through the skin, if you will. 
They are trying to flower right now, even though it's so hot. Yeah, skits on it. I don't know what TikTok. I don't do TikTok. I don't know. I'm always a step behind on the culture. So, it'll have to catch up to me one day. But right now, this is all they got. This is like TikTok before TikTok came out. I don't think I'm doing a good job of filming here, am I? I'm really filming like shit. And the trees are not getting uh, even portion control. But I have fertilized. This one looks like I skipped this one. Hmm. So I fertilized the weakest part. It's almost like these other ones don't even need the fertilizer. Look how tall and big they are. But I will fertilize them. Got a whole nother bag to dump on here. But I don't think I'm gonna I don't think I'm gonna film that because it's relatively difficult to film that with one hand. So we're gonna move on to something else right now as I wind down and uh, go into the house clean my hair uh, I gotta go over to the greenhouse and turn off the water it sounds like it's been running you can't let it run too long or it can cause problems so let's see if the uh, stream quality cuts out as I walk over to the grove uh, to the greenhouse and we'll try to find some other interesting things to show you so the other day I had uh, pipe that uh, Okay, I had a sprinkler head. I was moving out the grimmels out of the greenhouse and I broke a sprinkler head off, okay? The sprinkler head pipe had sat open for days where a Cuban tree frog had taken refuge because it's cool, it's damp, it's a hole. They're protected in there. And, uh, well, I went to repair the, vow the, the broken head. Hold on one second. It's nice and cool in here. Feels good. Temperature drop. Let me explain what happened. I was moving out my Jabuticabas out of the greenhouse and as I was, one of the branches pulled a pipe just like this and it cracked off the sprinkler head at the pipe. It sat cracked off for days, right? Well, I came, well, maybe weeks actually. I came to fix it and I didn't check inside the pipe, all right? And, uh, so I just came back and I capped it off and I put everything back together. Well, there was a fucking frog that was inside there. All I had to do was turn on the valve and shoot him out beforehand to check if any lizards or frogs were inside of my pipe. This is a public service announcement. So I fucking capped that bitch off. He's stuck in there. He drowns. The frog probably drowns, right? And then I'm like, well, it's been a day. Time to test this motherfucker out. I went to turn it on. And what appeared to be like a whitish goo come shooting out of this hole right here. This is not the head I did, but this is a recreation, a dramatization. This white goo come out. I think there's a stream of it. White goo comes out. Well, I thought that was maybe some leftover um, gum or something. And I grabbed it and I pulled it out. And I even gave it a smell. Well, that was frog guts. And I spent the better part of this afternoon today with a branch of a Jabuticaba stick, ironically, uh, wedging this damn frog's guts out of my sprinkler head and getting his frog goo on me. I, tr I dry heaved several times. It hurt. I was vomiting, you know, the whole <laughs> because of that fucking frog, but it really was my fault. But, uh, yeah. Let's go see if we can find old buddy frog. We're over here right now. He was inside, yeah, there you go. That's what I had to deal with. Chicken, I like to eat that. And then here's the sprinkler head that he was stuck in that I repaired. I still need to tie that off. 
and then, then I, I got his goo out of there. Police. Why would the police be making that noise? They live right there. They must have been trying to be silly. There's some jabbity cabas in here. Actually, a decent crop may be coming. These <coughs> trees should fruit. A lot of weeding to do in here. We got this all cleared out now. All this space, look at that whole greenhouse cleared out where the grumbles were. And that's a good thing. I'm gonna put that to use. You better, better believe it. You better believe it, Bubba. It's gonna be put to you. I tell you what, I tell you, tell you, tell you what. Look at over here. These are some persimmons. We got persimmons this year, y'all. I'm gonna be able to sell these on the market. This is called a sajo, I believe. I'm not a persimmon expert, but this is the crop, man. This is the year. If we don't get a tornado, hurricane, or whatever the hell, I'm gonna have enough organic persimmons to put them on the market. By golly, here's one right now. They're starting to come. That's early in the season. That's early. Let's taste this off on the side. Let's go ahead and find out what this thing's all about. Yeah, step away. Okay. We found a sage persimmon. Maybe I'll take this inside where the feed quality is better and we'll taste it. And I'll give you an honest review. I've had it before and I know it's good. But maybe this one didn't come out good and we need to. We need to figure that out right now. Let me see what's up. Hell, if Clark's awake from his senior nap, we may even offer him a piece. But if not, I think there'll be more. Hey, well, it takes him a while. These aren't quite ready yet. I want to freeze dry some. They're getting some really nice size on them. Wing tongue carambola. Drop the phone, I caught it. I zoomed in somehow. Okay. We're going for it, guys. Kick this trash bag and hear them things pop. almost a little green to be honest let's get this rare fruit review done guys hold on one sec please bear with me would you this is a uh, I believe it's a sage a sajo persimmon Japanese maybe name variety I don't know, the lighting's not so good. It's not perfectly ripe. Let's, I mean, it's, it probably wasn't, it's early. This is the earliest I've ever had a persimmon. Let's test it out. Honest opinion here, honest opinion. Scout's honor. It's good. I'm gonna feed the rest of my, my uh, mealworms. It's good. I just had to feed the skin to my mealworms. It was really hot, sweet. Uh, it's not my favorite fruit because it's just all sweet. What's up, Rose? I think I saw Rose. Hey, Rose. Hot and sweet. My fingers smell like shit. So it was really a treat. That whole combination, hot, sweet, fruit, fingers, smell like shit. Hey, look, I got a knife in the pouch of my hat the whole time. We made it. The hat smells like shit. My beard smells like shit. I 
I smell like Funyuns and shit. Ugh. Well, it's all part of the game. Thank you for watching. No items on eBay. Check the website if you're hot and heavy for some plants. I put some new items on there. Nothing real new, but things that, yeah. Thank you. Take, take a good one. Have a good one. Thanks, Nate, uh, Nate, Florida Bear. Take care, Abel. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of this whole experience, man. Woo! It smells like a baby's diaper in here.